We will continue discussing the differences between my company and the trading partners, this time focusing on the document type tab. So let's continue examining the differences between Boomi, which is my company, and the ABC Corporation, which is our trading partner. Notice the trading partner has an extra tab for document types. This provides the ability for trading partners to enable acknowledgement, handling, and document tracking. Within the document types tab, if I want to have an acknowledgement, I need to register my document type. In the document types, I will need to select the transmission. In this case, I am selecting an 850, and then I will press the OK button. The document options tab will then display. There are three different types of acknowledgements. 997 is the most common. If you want a 997, you will only need to register your document type. If you want a 999 or a TA1, you will need to check one of the checkboxes. 999 acknowledgements are similar to 997 acknowledgements, but they are used for acknowledging healthcare related transaction sets. This includes X12 version 5010 and higher. The TA1 interchange, ISA and IEA acknowledgement, TA1 acknowledgements have a transaction set document property set to TA1. If you want to route the TA1 interchange documents to processes, you'll turn off the filter functional acknowledgement checkbox on the trading partners tab, the basic X12 options, and use the trading partner set document property to route the TA documents. So we are doing a 997, so in order to do this, we're just going to press close. I'm going to demonstrate exercise number 10 in your book to configure a document type. This is in your book on page 35 to 36. I'm going to click on the document type tab. I'm going to add a document type. It will select all the transmissions available. I'm going to enter an 850. I entered 850, it automatically brought up a purchase order. I will highlight it and then I will click on the OK button. I'm not going to need to do anything on here because I which is a 997, so I'm going to click on the close button. We'll automatically add the document type and now I will save it. Now it's your turn to do exercise 10 to configure the document types. When we return, we will be discussing the ISA and GS options.